Welcome to the Lambda Gate Learning Center, Chapter 6, Optical Detectors. These devices, also known as photo detectors, take optical energy and transform it into electrical energy, which can be used by a phone or a computer. As we saw in Chapter 5, light comes from an optical source, travels along the optical path, and is finally received by an optical detector at the transmitting end. There are five key factors which differentiate the different types of photo detectors. Number one, sensitivity. This is the ratio of output electric current to input optical power. In other words, this measures the efficiency of the device by assessing how much energy is lost. If the number is high, that is good. If it's low, that's bad. Number two, response time. This is a measure of how quickly the detector can respond to variations in the input light intensity. The quicker, the better. Number three, noise. The level of noise or interference produced in the device is critical to its operation when levels of input light are low. Optical detectors are like neighbors. The quieter, the better. Number four, spectral response range. This is the range of wavelengths over which the device operates. Number five, gain. This is the extent to which a signal is amplified in relation to the original signal. Now that we understand the basics, let's take a look at the different types of optical detectors and how these characteristics differentiate them. First of all, we have photodiodes. In these semiconductor devices, light is absorbed in a depletion region and generates a photocurrent. These devices are generally defined by their average response time and average spectral response range. They are, however, highly sensitive to light, which means that very little energy is lost. They produce more internal gain, but are typically noisy. Next, there are photoconductors. These are the simplest conceivable optical detectors and are also considered the slowest. The spectral response range is rather small and these devices are usually used for long wavelengths. They exhibit below average sensitivity, but produce internal gain. Finally, there are junction photodetectors. These are characterized by their very high spectral response range and speedy response time, generally better than the previous two models. However, they are usually not as sensitive and do not produce any internal gain. In conclusion, optical detectors transform optical signals into electrical ones. Each device is defined according to its sensitivity, response time, noise level, spectral response range, and gain. The three broad categories of devices are photodiodes, photoconductors, and junction photodetectors. Thanks for following the Lambda Gain Learning Center. Be sure to check out our article version of this tutorial to get a more comprehensive understanding of photodetectors, as well as our next chapter, which will cover optical communication systems.